Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name is Ollie. Today's video is my July favourites. I cannot believe it's August. Summer's nearly over and I'm not okay with that because I haven't had a proper summer break yet, so... And I'm sure at this point you know what these favourites videos are. If you don't, catch up. So, without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. Oh, two fingers. The first one is a new fragrance. I only use the Dior fragrance. It's either Savage, Savage. I'm not too sure on how to pronounce it, but if you know, you know. For my 21st birthday, my best friend Meals, her mum actually got me this Tom Ford one. She also got me the candle to go with it. Now this Tom Ford, I think it's vanilla tobacco. This is the aftershave which Harry Styles wears. It's like a massive trend to get the candles so when your room can always smell like Harry Styles. My best friend and her mum are very, very extra. So they went the extra mile and her mum got me the actual aftershave as well and it is amazing now i was saving it like for a special occasion but i then i tried it out one day because i was out of my dior one so i was like okay i need some aftershave so i need to put this on i got so many compliments on this they were like oh my god you smell amazing what is that oh my god you smell so good i'm not surprised if this is how harry smells lord like it's amazing. It's so, so good. Moving on, this product was actually very, very kindly gifted by Warpaint for Men. So thank you very much, Warpaint. I love you. They actually sent me a lot. If you, if you want to know what they sent me, check my whole video out. And they sent me a lot, so thank you. This is Warpaint for Men Beard and Brow Gel. I did show this in one of my shopping hauls recently. And it's basically just an eyebrow gel. Use it just basically to style your brows or style your beard if you had a beard. Obviously, I don't. So I just use it for my brows. It is so, so good. Just squeeze it and then it comes in and brush and you literally just do it. You don't even need that much. That's why I love it. You do not need much. I feel like this could last for a while and I highly recommend it. So, yeah. Moving on to some food, which oh, I've been obsessed with. Absolutely obsessed with. These are the plant menu no pork sausage rolls. These are from Aldi, I believe. I mean, literally just sausage rolls, but they are so good. And obviously, they're vegan. These are amazing. I have gone through quite a few packets of these. And, like, you literally put them in for like 15 minutes, and they are phenomenal. Like, they are so, so good. A little bit of ketchup, maybe a little mustard. Amazing. Seasoned mushroom mints wrapped in golden puff pastry. I don't know what I'll say about this. They're just amazing. Yeah. Moving on to some clothing. These these jeans I got in my haul video, which I have shown you, and I did try them on in that video, so if you want to see that again, check out my recent haul video, it's on there. But these jeans are from Plumbear, so I've always had this thing where I have always worn black skinny jeans because, I don't know why, I think I just got them and stuck with them and never strayed away, so now wearing anything else, I mean to be fair, I broke it with joggers, like when the Ivy Park joggers started coming out, I really did branch away from jeans to joggers for a bit, but then I was like, okay, I still need some like jeans, and especially now it's summer, joggers and black jeans don't really match the summer vibe so i was like i need to get some blue jeans and like them so i was really nervous i got these blue jeans and i've had quite a few blue jeans i never really liked a lot of them or they don't fit right and what a word whatever these ones i mean not to boast but i got a lot of compliments in these jeans they're just like slight they're not ripped but they're like damaged is that i don't really know like you know what i mean they're like frayed and these are a favorite because i really like them to so the final physical favorite are these again these were very 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 kindly gifted by a company called studio soda and they're like the kind of yeezy look-alike sliders and they are so comfortable obviously these are in say sand tan beige you know what it is you can see the color and i this is quite controversial but for me it's yes especially with things like this sandals no but sliders like this i love wearing these with shorts socks i said it socks and sliders i don't know why i think just feet are gross feet are just gross so when you wear when you wear sliders i like to wear socks not always if i'm around if i'm in a foreign country i won't but like if i'm I'm going like down to the shop these bad boys a pair of socks i'm good to go these are so comfortable and it was actually my dad's birthday recently and we got him a pair as well from the same company and he loves them as well oh i forgot to mention so studio soda also very kindly gave me discount code so you can get 10 percent off everything the code is ollie 10 i'll put it on screen now it's actually oli capsules 10 so simple so easy get 10 percent off these are so comfortable and i literally live in these i love them and they don't smell either. So that's great. And Studio Soda, thank you very much. And I absolutely love these. And the final favourite, which has to be in here, is the only inserted favourite. Normally, it's the way around. Today, we only have one inserted favourite. And it is a movie. It's a movie which I love a lot. It is Black Widow. The new, well, it's not new anymore. But Black Widow, I've watched it so many times. I absolutely love it. Scarlett Johansson, I miss you. Please come back to the MCU. Please, please, I miss you. Black Widow was such a good movie. If you're not a Marvel fan, you probably won't care. If you are... What did you think? Please let me know. I need to know. I loved it. I thought it was so, so good. And like, I think it was a really nice goodbye to Black Widow. Spoiler if you don't know, she didn't make it through Endgame. 
She's just a baddie. She is a major baddie and I love her and she's strong and she's powerful and she's independent and she needs no one. And I love her. Well, that movie honestly was so good and it just caught me off guard. Like, I didn't know where they were going to go. I didn't know it was going to be a backstory, whatever. But it fit really nicely into the MCU, I think. And if you rewatch them all in order, I think putting that in the order where it's meant to be in the story will go amazingly. Marvel, go you. You've done it again. Well, that is everything. That is all. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Peace. That is all of my favourites from July. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.